The Arab League warns of escalations as Israel launches second violent raid on Al-Aqsa. Thousands of families mark Gerangar Festival across Qatar. Stay tuned to find out more. The reopening of Saudi land border drives up the number of Umrah pilgrimage from Qatar. And football fans around the region react as Benzema's hat trick eliminates Barcelona from Copa del Rey. Hi, it's Fatma and you're watching The Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. Qatar joined the Arab League in warning of escalations in Palestine in light of the latest Israeli violence in Jerusalem and the Al-Aqsa Mosque. The urgent meeting held at the bloc's headquarters in Cairo renewed its condemnation of the brutal Israeli attacks on Palestinian worshippers at the holy site. On Wednesday night, Israeli occupation forces injured hundreds of Palestinians once again as they made way for Jewish settlers to celebrate their Passover holiday at the Muslim site. Just a day earlier, 400 were detained during the first assault. Now, the UN Security Council is scheduled to meet to address the violence. Here in Qatar, families across the country took to the streets and lit up their homes to celebrate the annual Garangao Festival late on Wednesday evening. Thousands flocked to the Doha Kurnish and Lusay Boulevard to join in on the celebrations, which fall on the 14th night of Ramadan every year. The first of its kind celebration at Kurnish included stage performances, art workshops, and a fashion show for children. And now, the number of pilgrims per Performing Umrah during the holy month of Ramadan has doubled, with more residents and families opting to drive to holy sites in Saudi Arabia due to the reopening of the land border crossing. The increase in demand for Umrah has been attributed to the opening of the land border between Saudi Arabia and Qatar. Families who spoke to Doha News say they chose to drive across to holy cities in the neighboring kingdom as it's cheaper than catching a flight. Pilgrimage organizers also say the lifting of the blockade has allowed for easier access to residents keen on traveling by land. And finally, Qatar's football fans were left in awe last night after Real Madrid's Karim Benzema struck a hat trick against Barcelona. The stunning display left Real's arch rivals and league leaders Barcelona 4 0 down and eliminated from the Copa del Rey. Fans across social media platforms celebrated the victory during the holy month, joking that this Ramadan really is Karim. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co, and make sure to download our app for your daily updates.